This is Mostly Automotive Marketing with Matt Wilson. Joining me now on Mostly Automotive Marketing with Matt Wilson. She is known, to, by me at least, as the number one Volvo girl. Mabel Peralta is joining me. Hi, Mabel. Hey, how are you? How did you come up with, when did you start? How did you come up with the number one Volvo girl thing? Um, I started, actually, I've been into Volvo since I was um, four. I just turned 41. So I started just loving the brand. And I want to say probably seven or eight years ago, I started going to a lot of car shows and a lot of car meets. And I realized that there wasn't really kind of like a brand ambassador for Volvo. So, you know, that was not the infantile stages of social media, but, you know, there was no Instagram. Twitter was still kind of coming coming up and Facebook was still uh, in its infancy for the world. So I decided why not start um, promoting the brand that I love so much. And then when hashtags became the thing to do mm-hmm. um, in the early stages, I figured there's no one out there representing Volvo. So I just said, you know what, I'm going to be the number one Volvo girl and I'm going to own up to it and I'm going to take it and I'm going to just go through it. And um, it's really been a whirlwind because corporate Volvo corporate started noticing me and a lot of other dealerships. And next thing I know, I left a really good corporate paying job to, uh, to work at a dealership because it's, it's my passion. I eat, breathe, and sleep wallow. That's awesome. And, you know, I've been talking to a lot of salespeople, or, uh, you know, or BDC people or marketing people who, you know, brand themselves uh, within uh, the store that they're in. But uh, you, mm-hmm. you know, branded yourself with the OEM from before you were even in the business, which I think is probably a little uh, unusual. Yeah, it's very unusual. And I get a lot of, uh, I get a lot of salespeople throughout the country sometimes, you know, to kind of pick my brain and they're like, well, well, how do you do it? And what do you do? And, um, you know, you have to have a passion for what you sell and you really do have to have a passion for your brand because at the end of the day, that passion and that enthusiasm goes a long way. And customers really love that because anyone could be a textbook, know it all. You know, you could have a manual on a certain car and know everything about it. Mm -hmm. But if you sound like a robot, customers aren't going to really be attracted to that. They want to know that you're a human. They want to know that, you know, you're just all about what it is that you're selling. And sometimes, you know, I have customers that come in on a certain car and I'm so enthused about the brand that they end up with, you know, they upgrade themselves without them yeah. even realizing it. Is the other part of it too, also, you know, you got to be in love with the brand and what you do, but is the other part of it also longevity and consistency, like sticking with it? I think a lot of salespeople or marketing people give up, right, you know, too soon before, before they see the benefits. Correct. I mean, this is, you know, doing this is, is it's more of your gardener. You're planting your seeds and you're not going to see the fruit of, of your, of all that work right away. It's going to take time and you got to cultivate it. It's not going to be overnight. And, you know, a lot of things that I've implemented that are now coming to fruition have been things that I've been doing for years. Yeah. Um, you know, I have customers that follow me store to store. I'm currently at my fourth Volvo store and, you know, many times it's because I've just been recruited. And I've been, uh, you know, taken from store to store. So th- those customers are loyal to me. They're loyal to the brand, but they want to know that when they come in for service, that I'm going to be there looking at their car. Uh, I tend to, when the car is in service, I'll take a picture of it. And I say, do you need me to ask the mechanic anything while I have the car in the lift? And they like that. And it's that attention to detail. Uh, you know, whether I'm selling a brand new Volvo or used off brand, everyone gets treated with white glove service. And that's consistency. You have to be consistent. You can't just give up at a sign of like, well, this customer is not working with me or, you know, I've been posting on Instagram for two weeks and nothing's coming out of it. Well, you got to keep doing it. I think that happens a lot. You know, I it just in my yeah. it, it, in my last store, I think, you know, I've been having conversations with salespeople about it and you get them all riled up and gung ho and they do exactly that, Mabel. They post a couple things on Instagram for a couple of weeks, some Facebook stuff, mm-hmm. they buy some merchandise and put it in deliveries cars and then they're like, Oh, I'm not seeing a benefit and they just give up. Like they don't want to put the effort in. Yeah. It, it takes time. And you and you yeah, you cannot give up. You know, if I did that I wouldn't be where I am today. And I wouldn't be known for who, you know, for who I am. Yeah. I, you know, I still handwrite every thank you. Like right now, um, That's awesome. you know, I'm literally spotting a car. I sold a car right off the showroom floor. I'm sitting, I'm standing in the detailer bay, just overlooking it to make sure that everything's uh, good to go. And I wrote my thank you card while my customer is in finance because, 
that is important. When they get that car, when I hand over the keys, I want them to know that I really listened to the conversation that we had in the car. And I really care. And, and, you know, I'm getting them in and out within the hour, too. That's so awesome. it's not like they're hanging out for two or three hours. Like, you like the car, we test drove it, this is your car for you, great. Let's get you into finance, and let's go. Before, so, um, yeah. That's awesome. Wait, hello? Yep, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Well, that's awesome. I mean, I think that, that you know, treating customers, uh, getting them in and out quick, getting them to love their brand like you, uh, that rubs off on them when they see your enthusiasm. And uh, that's mm-hmm. fantastic. Before I let you go, what it, well, first of all, what uh, you've had a million Volvos, I'm sure. Which one do you have now? And what's your favorite one that's out right now? Um, brand new or used? Brand, whatever. I mean, my all-time favorite Volvo, which is what I have tattooed on my arm, is a Volvo 240 Series. That is my dream car. I had one for a while, and I just absolutely love it. Um, Tattoo? You know, now my, that is uh, serious. Yep, I have two Volvo tattoos. Oh, my gosh. That is commitment. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love. When I tell you I eat, breathe, and sleep the brand, I really do. Uh, there's there's nothing I don't know about the brand. There's nothing I wouldn't do for the brand. Um, and, you know, I, I love sharing my knowledge. So it's not like I hoard all this knowledge to myself. I always encourage other Volvo, um, you know, Volvo salespeople to you know, call me, ask me questions. I'm more than happy to to help them because what I want is for everyone to drive a Volvo. And I feel like if the salespeople are going to to get on it, to be on social and to really be about it, then I want to help them. Yeah. Listen, I uh, Mm -hmm. appreciate the time. I'm going to keep, I love uh, seeing what you're up to on uh, Instagram. (laughs) It's, it's, uh, It's fun to watch. And uh, I appreciate it. I'll let you get back to your customer and make sure that car is getting detailed. And uh, thanks for your awesome. time. Thank you so much. Have All a right. great day. You got it, Mabel. You too. Have a good All one. Right. Mostly Automotive Marketing with Matt Wilson is brought to you by... Wait, this guy has sponsors? Oh, never mind. This sheet of paper's blank. No sponsors. That makes more sense. For updates, info, future episodes, and more, follow on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, like on Facebook, and connect on Frackle. You guys made that last one up. That's not even a thing, Frackle. Come on.